I think that it's safe to say that Disney animation has been on a tremendous winning streak for the past decade. Until now. Yes, I was disappointed with Ralph Breaks the Internet because it lacked two of the greatest things that its first film had in abundance, and that was charm and heart. I had many issues with this film, but let's talk about the good things first. Hands down, in my opinion, the best thing about this film is the showcase and inclusion of all of the Disney princesses in a way that we have never seen them before. It's abundantly clear that all of the best humor and creativity and passion and intention was put into these scenes with the Disney princesses. All biases aside, I'm a lover of the Disney princesses, but honestly, they were the most enjoyable, funny moments of the entire movie. The scenes were brief, but left a tremendous impression that has me begging them to make a Disney princess movie. Another highlight was the character Yes, played by Taraji P. Henson, and she is the new character in this film and is the best new character in this film. I argue maybe the only good new character in this film. She was very charismatic, fabulous fashion style, and she kept me engaged in every scene that she was in. I really appreciated her presence. I thought she brought something really fresh to this environment. Another highlight was Felix and Calhoun. They were so great even with just the tiniest, the tiniest amount of screen time. And finally, the, uh, the, the last good thing I can say about this film was uh, Vanellope's character development. It, you know, she was very, very heavily showcased in this movie. I argue that this is definitely her movie, um, more so than Ralph, even though it's his name in the title card, whatever. Um, she was greatly developed. I did appreciate the emotional depth that they did take her character, and I loved that about her, but... It was purely at the expense of Ralph, which leads me into my issues with the movie. First and foremost, my greatest, biggest qualm with this movie was Ralph. His character development is completely shortchanged for the sake of Vanellope in making him annoying and unlikable. And it made the story feel imbalanced, which was very disappointing from where we ended up with him and her at the end of the first movie. The story could have been way more interesting and emotionally charged if it didn't put all the good eggs in Vanellope's basket and leave Ralph's character completely uninspired and quite frankly, irritating. Another disappointing aspect about this movie was that the humor was honestly very disappointing overall. Most of the jokes fell flat in my opinion and a lot of the funniest moments were showcased in the previews and it also didn't help that the, the plot would drag every so often that almost you know, where I almost felt a little bit bored at times. Another element that didn't work for me was Gal Gadot's character as Shank. Her character is designed to play a big part in uh, Vanellope's um, character arc and her development, but I found her rather dull and uninteresting and, and uh, rather void of any fun characteristics uh, to make me like her. For such a badass character that she's supposed to be, you know, you don't get anything like that like you did with Calhoun in the first movie. There was really nothing spicy about Shank's character and I felt like she was um, purely there as a plot point and a plot step for Vanellope. I really missed the arcade from the first film and it really disappointed me that we really didn't get nearly as much of Felix and Calhoun, um, which would have helped this story a lot more because the new characters in the internet world weren't nearly as fun as the arcade and I wish they would have combined the two worlds more. Um, that might have saved this whole film overall but it definitely, definitely could have used that extra save for the final act. And that final act, that final conflict was honestly just dumb. It was just dumb. I just kept asking myself, really? Like, 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 is this the best they could come up with? After coming from such a strong first film with such a great emotional impact with these characters, it really was disappointing and sad to see where they took the story and where they ended up and that's what you're left with. 
There was such a promising premise of exploring the internet and it worked only a handful of ways, but with the imbalanced story, the choppy pacing, the lackluster humor, and by ultimately leaving the arcade um, almost completely, and the characters that we love from the arcade, we lost so much of the magic and, and what we loved from the first one. I'm going to give Ralph Breaks the Internet a C+. And that's my review of Ralph Breaks the Internet. Thank you all for watching, and until next time, I'm Ryan Bamey, signing off. Bye, everyone.